Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hello, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. And if this is your first time here, welcome. We start looking at my living room wall, decorated like this, because old movies, super important to me for the past 31 years. So today's title is because I have been chomping at the bit. We need some Tyrone power on the channel. You gotta pronounce it right. It's not Tyrone. He ain't a brother. <laughs> That's how his name would be pronounced, is Tyrone. But it's so hilarious to me because just as I have um, looked up interviews of, you know, people from his era, namely um, Lana Turner, she got real messy, just very um, divulgent of her life story at a point in the early 80s because she had just written an autobiography and she was on Donahue and places just interviewing and she was talking about her relationship with Tyrone Power and I was like, oh, excuse me, let me pronounce it right. And then I also watched a biography, you know, A&E biography of him one time and that was where I found out that he is basically like a junior, right, because he had a dad. There's actually a video of him on YouTube. I just, I was looking up Tyrone Power movies just now, and I already knew which one I wanted, this one that we're going to watch. I just wanted to make sure nothing else had come available because, okay, anyway, I'll tell you that because in a second. Um, there's a movie from 1930 with John Wayne and Tyrone Power, but it's his dad. And his dad was like a very big, huge dude, um, respected actor. I believe most of his career was uh, on Broadway doing theater because it was prior to film like talking films. He, he may be a lot in silent films. Um, I just, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to give you a biography right now, but it was just that his dad was a very well-respected actor and, you know, Tyrone Power took off in his footsteps. So he was the one that, I mentioned this in Big Country, but it was Tyrone Power just, like, as he was getting started and he just needed to hone his craft, he, it was focusing on his voice and just being able to project really kind of distinctly and crisply and clearly, right? But he's talking about doing that for film. It's not like being on stage and you don't have a microphone and, like, a, a boom right in front of you or something. Um, no, he was talking about even for film with all of those sound um, pieces of equipment, it's still about how you project your voice. And so when you think about that, and you think about Tyrone Power's voice, it's, he'll just, he, you know, he inflects really well, and he just, his intonation is very distinct. So, um, yeah, I was chomping at the bit because yesterday, uh, my little rabbit, my little rabbit ears over the air channel is killing me. Because yesterday I just turned onto that channel and it was smack in the middle of blood and sand. People, I have that too. I guess, look, <laughs> In order to have a, my upcoming membership platform, it's going to require payment from you, right? And I'm really just, I don't want to price anybody out. I don't want to come across with a price that's ridiculously high. I also don't want to come across with a price that's not enough for me on my side of things and kind of what I would need. Um, so I'm trying to just research around. I see, you know, other reaction channels that are doing this type of thing. And um, there's kind of a common price range that they charge um, for their membership platforms and they seem to have like thousands of people subscribing so you know it's about definitely us building the rapport and it being something that you would feel is worth your coin and that's definitely what's important so I'm on the pricing of it it's like I have to ask you know what how much would I be willing to pay for that and it wouldn't be too much you know what I mean so <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I better not price it at something that I myself wouldn't feel comfortable paying on a monthly um, subscription basis, but what the difference would be over on that platform is it's going to be just the movies that don't have links to them available here on um, YouTube, so that other platform is going to be where you come with your copy of the movie and we watch together. And that is just for anybody's business model, that's just for safety purposes, for copyright reasons, right? Like if there's, if I can't upload Blood and Sand here on YouTube and just have it free and available on the screen, well, I certainly better not be doing that over on a paid platform. <laughs> Right? I mean, where I, like, I could try and do that on here, and I know that it's, like, not allowed by the copyright owner, and so that I'm just like, oh, all right, well, let me just go do it on my own then and, and make money by doing it. So, I don't know. It's not the way those platforms should be operating. So, 
Um, yeah, that's the thing, is like, you guys would just need to have your version of the movie to do this same watch along. Um, but it is coming, I'm going to do it, it is coming. Um, I just, in the meantime, make the most, everything free. I don't ever want to take away anything from the full free experience on this platform of YouTube because that's what you access YouTube for. So get the fullest experience out of YouTube as possible. So, Blood and Sand is, oh my god, an amazing movie, right? Because is Rita Hayworth. I told you guys, the baddest bitch that there ever was in film. And whenever she starts to dance, oh my gosh, so she was dancing. That's about the part where I came into that movie and it's just like, oh my gosh. But yeah, so titles like that, like the hugest ones, are coming over on that platform. In the meantime, Jesse James from 1939 is by no means skimpy. It's from that magical year of 1939, Gone with the Wind. Weathering Heights, right? Just these insanely, Wizard of Oz, these insanely legendary, best movies of all time, lasting in that stature till this day. Magical year, where when you kind of just look at the overall inventory, I actually did that one year. I don't know how I was on some website that I just looked at movies from the year 1939, and I feel like I was pretty much getting a look at all of the movies, American movies, right, that came out that year. And there were maybe a couple that I had not heard of, but for the most part, you hit the game in 1939 with your little movie release, and it's probably on a list. And so, oh my gosh, this one with him and Henry Fonda. And I love this movie because it is definitely the two of them young, handsome, oh my gosh, they're just too handsome. They are too handsome and they're too bad. Th these are my type of men right here. So there is literally a scene, they're writing, and then Frank... What's his name? Not Frank. Well, that's his name in this movie. <laughs> Henry Fonda rides off on his horse. And that's it. There's no announcement, but he literally is just, he rides away on his horse, and we don't see him again. And there's a sequel to this movie where we find out what happened to him. Do you guys know that? It's on here, on YouTube. I One of my most recent upload channels, I put it up. I put up the sequel, which stars mainly Henry Fonda. And... Everybody was watching that. I couldn't get anybody to watch this one. You guys are missing. I just want you to know, and you won't know unless you're watching this, but you guys are missing out if you don't watch Jesse James. It is such a good movie. It's Technicolor. It's up there. It's right next to The Beauty of Technicolor and Leave Her to Heaven. And I told you guys how I feel like, well, it's hands down the most beautiful um, Technicolor of 1940s. This is 1939, but it's right up there. So enough talking. Um, let's just get it going. Let me get it pulled up, and yeah, let's watch this one. A good time. This is a good time. You, If you um, feel like, oh, I don't necessarily like westerns, it's all right, because do you like Tyrone Power? Do you like Henry Fonda? Yeah, you're going to like this movie, so let's, let me get everything together. Okay, I'm comfy, people. Like, I am allowing myself. I get to be comfortable <laughs> watching these movies. It's a long time to be sitting in one spot. So, all right, here we go. Get everything pulled up. Link is in the description of the video. Let me actually play my little 23 second animation. Ways to watch this is me and the movie together on one screen and then us on your TV. Pull up the link to this movie, launch it in a tab, me in another tab, put us side by side, playing in 3, 2, 1, we're in sync. Use an HDMI cable, your computer to your TV, no connectivity issues, boom, there you go. Um, with that, put us both in theater mode, the both of the videos, it just adds extra nice black space around everything, and then also, you can pull the tabs over. Just on my animation, I leave them split on the screen side by side, but you can definitely pull the movie over to take up 75% of the screen. Just have me in that other little space. Connectivity, you go ahead and push the play on TV button on either video, then the play picture in picture, it allows you to shrink that video down. So if it's me, you move me into the bottom corner of the movie, wherever in the movie. And if it's the movie, you shrink it down to go over the blurred muted box that'll be on the screen here shortly. Okay, so do what works for you. And now here we go. Playing in three, two, one, click. Okay. Ah yeah, 20th Century Fox. That's where Tyrone Power was most of his career, huh? I had a point they parted ways, but probably the bulk of what we see of his films is there. I don't know. Did he ever get lent out? There we go. Oh, I forgot Randolph Scott, Scott is in this movie. I have no idea who Nancy Kelly is. She was just billed above Randolph Scott. This is the only movie I've ever seen this chicken that is the um, love interest. Henry King. Tron Power and Henry King make a lot of movies together, right? Or I know there's somebody Hathaway that he does a lot of movies with, too. If 
photographed in Technicolor. It is very striking. Oh, we got the banjo. All right, breaking it down. Yes. Costumes by Royer. I've never heard of that person. Transcontinental Railroads, yep. Uh, wow. Franken Jesse James like I actually just kind of forget that this is about Jesse James because it's just really about to run power for me. <laughs> mm. Is that possible? I don't know. These are these federal railroads that are getting built. Because if it wasn't that, then they can't do that. Something's better than nothing. Make your mark, huh? Paid 15, gonna get a dollar? Good gosh. Oh. So they definitely decide what they wanna offer. Don't sign. She ain't gonna let this man railroad her. Yeah, well, you better not. <gasps> He's a young teenager. They're breaking his arm. They, uh, look, it's about to be a different situation though, and I love it. Look. the way he interacted with him, huh? Oh, how much? 75 cents?
no, ya, ¿cómo? Oh, well, no, who are you? <laughs> well, you are not going to try it with Henry Fonda. <laughs> he ain't worried him. Oh, but look what just happened. <laughs> Mom, right, yeah, just calm down. You're about to kick this man's ass. You ain't got to worry about it. with this um what the heck is and it's to oh chew right tobacco ah <laughs> oh, dang No, I couldn't see mom being worried. But um, seriously, he had a gun. Did you think you were on their land? What, the stand your ground <laughs> laws? I mean, he is well within his rights. I love Pinky in this movie. I don't know um, how that became his moniker, but Pister. <laughs> A voice, right? Projecting it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's not um, keeping up with him on that paragraph break. <laughs> That's my cuss words. <laughs> well, uh uh. Well, his back was tough. Again, who in the hizzle are these people? Are they reps for the government? Oh, okay, so he was writing about this whole thing. Boy, the sound is really good. It 
yeah. I mean, right. This dude is down. He's part of the crew. How were they able to get a warrant? Yeah, that's all they were doing. What a hot. So, this railroad, no, it doesn't seem to be federal, but it's just like buying everybody that they need to buy to be on their side for their unscrupulous behavior. Now, who is this? Oh, these fools. Are they deputized? I feel like they were asking for a warrant or they were asking to be deputized. Yeah, I'd be walking away as a lady. Oh, he's a major? Ah, major's about theatrics. <laughs> what is that for? <laughs> oh. Ah. What? They are not the law. Oh my God. That was a bomb. Because I don't think that it just did that because of her broken lamp. Unless it did, but he said that he was going to blow them out of there. Oh, she's gone. Those boys, huh? It's on. Popping. Cracking. So what I just said, because it's on and popping, or it's on and cracking, <laughs> just so you guys understand my references.
This lady looks Hispanic to me. But she was billed over Randolph Scott. I have not, she is not familiar looking to me though. Her eyelashes are so long though. So, well, hold on, who's him? It's just the man that was about to try and stab his brother, which is why he caught a bullet. And, but more than just him, right? Oh, and this is him? I was, he ain't going to the police department. He's going into the Bell, so the Dixie Bell Saloon. Uh, this is demonstrating how it's on and popping and cracking. Does the bartender uh, count to three? Yeah. Oh, see, I was, I don't think the, oh, he does. He got in on the count. man in the movie I thought he continued to play a role in murder ah uh, I thought I saw that man further in this movie he um it's he's a goner the sound of this movie my goodness like I'm hearing the steam from this train Oh, okay, so this is like the grand opening of the railroad station, right? St. Louis Midland, that's okay. All aboard the St. Louis Midland, and that's what they said. The Midland has everybody paid off, bought off. And these are their little stakeholders. Jeez Louise, this is just in 720, people, but the sound, it's like the best I've heard in any movie we've been watching here on YouTube. <sighs> Bringing it down a little bit. Okay, so is he still by himself? Because he just was personally going to go take care of that dude. And it was just him. Well, it was that other fool that tried to jump in it. But Jesse's doing this by himself? Wow, how beautiful huh, that this horse is keeping up with this train. My goodness. And wow, he just jumped off of his horse. Ah! Oh. <laughs> they didn't see him? How cool! Oh my goodness. That's a cool shot of a train. I don't think I've ever seen this sideways action of somebody on top of it like this. And the time of day that it is too, that is so cool, the color of the sky that they captured.
<laughs> Can they be that precise with the train? I thought that it was really hard to stop trains in motion. That he's going to get it right, do, do it right at that corner, right around those bushes. I mean, oh, so you know, he's not alone. Okay. Oh, they are rolling deep. It is not just him and his brother. No, man. <laughs> what kind of a robbery is this? They have been out receipts. I mean. Okay, so that happened, and now, oh, is this the train coming in? Liberty, Missouri. So there's Randolph Scott. Yeah. I def Oh, they've upped it to five thousand. Why is it just for Jesse? Oh, he's still he's he, they made a decision between him and Frank that it was going to be Jesse. Alright, well that's not a bird. <laughs> Yeah, he came right back. world do these people have to do to take his little editorial are they just collecting every are they collecting words because they just they're just grabbing like little scrabble pieces but it must be words and not letters <laughs> 
So then just go press it out on the, and then they'll push. He's so handsome, right? the 5,000. Um, okay, well, I mean, this lady's a little, just a little bit much. So he's the law. In liberty, is that? He was walking up into this man's house like this. Uh, he sees Jesse. Oh, okay. Well, that's about it. I'm upset at how this man just came in here. Mr. Howard. She talks just a little bit too affected, basically every time she does. <laughs> she says something with her... And it's, it just kind of annoys me. sure did like uh, he just walked up into her uncle's house like he was engaged to her who is that why is um it necessary for jesse to still be i mean it, maybe it wasn't jesse i guess i shouldn't
Where's she going? Okay, that's not her. Oh! That's the president of that little train track. She's pretty mystical. Um, just reading his future. Hmm, she gets to him. Is she there? She's there with Pinky, huh? That's what he just said to her. No, he did not. Oh, he did not just say that to her. Now I get what she meant by that. The only way she'll wait for him is if he marries her. But he said if we go away, but he was not implying marriage. I thought he was, but he was not. And that's why she was walking away. But as long as he said marriage, they sure are rolling up to the church right now. But he also said that he's not turning himself in. So she plans to marry him so she'll keep waiting. Why is he looking at her? He know he recognizes him? Now he knows. <laughs> oh. The preacher just cast. Okay, yeah. Gall, dag, <laughs> blasted. These were cuss words back in the day. <laughs>
I like the transitions in this movie. The editing. Is this him? Oh. He came right away. Not the murder. <clears throat> wow. So he really did want her, and he did. I th okay. I thought they were getting married just so that he'd be going off again, and but she would be waiting for him. But no, he, he wanted to be with her because he married her, and right away he's coming to turn himself in. So he's here by himself, huh? His brother and everybody else is not with him. He has been the only one on the wanted side home. So we're going into the district attorney's office. And it was the, a little letter signed by the president of the train company. Where is he? Her, <laughs> I've already pointed it out. It's just, it's, um, it distracts me, I guess. So young. His hair is so thick. He's a good man, huh? I mean, he so far, I guess, had just kind of, yeah, gotten caught up into um, Jack and the individual trains. But hey, why not? They started it. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt he wasn't like killing more people. Any, they haven't told us that in this movie. And so, I mean, she really got to him when she was like, it'll be coming your blood. That's who signed the letter. No, he can't, just because if he wants to undo what he wrote on that piece of paper he doesn't have the judge in his pocket that much does he, he just talk to the judge the trial okay by order of the governor Because you jacked so many people.
people of their land. Hmm. Think, think about it. He, they thought about it for a second. <laughs> Railroad, what? Railroad presidents? <laughs> that little mountain? Pinky. Does he have to get so close into people's personal space in order to communicate? That, every time he is talking to somebody, he violates like personal space boundaries. And we just need the breath to be fresh, right? Like, can't be. Who's McCoy? Oh, this little dude. Midland is his train track. Oh, this is the new judge and the state attorney. So he buys the judge and the attorney. Look at him. <laughs> Deputies? Really, dude.
So now he's gonna empty out the jail to go surround the town. So when they build a little railroad station in a town, they take it over. Oh. <laughs> so he's coming in here where they're taking the beds to deputize people. <laughs> Okay, it was by midnight. This, oh, I thought it was the guard. Because uh, when they show him, he's going to be nervous. He um, will have a different, yeah, demeanor. Oh, well, he's nervous, too. So they emptied out this place to go have all the men surrounding the town thinking that that would mean Frank isn't going to get to the jailhouse. <laughs> He's carved a lot off of his little stick. Taking an editorial. Yeah, I know. So he just got, f this man can fire him? Oh, now 
he's talking, now he's just talking shit. He thinks he can just toss people in jail and then talk shit. Because he did that to Jesse as soon as he got in there. These are the deputies. <laughs> He's going to be fired tomorrow, huh? Oh, now they're going to have a little fun. Yeah, Mr. McCoy. Little five foot one punk, huh? <laughs> wow, so they're just gonna walk out. <laughs> What's up now? Uh, uh? Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, he remembers it. boys are hilarious. Wow. They said just for the fun of it. Don't forget. Now, is it really everybody? Where is she going? Okay, because I was like, where? She's going to go be with her man. Okay, because I was going to, everybody after them, is everybody really willing to go after them? Um, but it, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people are. It's these soldiers, uh, the martial law guys. Yeah, that's who I'm seeing. <laughs> he said, he, they deputized Tom and Hank. He said, on purpose. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Why are they looking back so much? I mean, of course, but that's a um, dangerous way to ride, right? Oh, 
Yeah, they don't really care so much about this money. But these marshals will... Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're gonna stop. Wow. times that I don't know what that is Sinquipled it quadruple sinquipple quadruple sinquipled it <laughs> okay this is their own house right How cute. She's put her little touches on everything. <laughs> That's her little home home. That's her job. Uh-oh. So that's interesting, like he does come home or whatever, but this is like the first time. Because, oh yeah, he rode away with James and, with Frank, James. And they're just now. Twenty five thousand, yeah. Like back in these days it's gotta be like two hundred and fifty thousand. Her little house. All her little work, her little touches. So I wonder if she So they're at a hotel. <laughs> Thomas Howard. Okay, I would okay, this is exactly what I was saying. I wonder if she thinks she'll be able to make her little touches, Mrs. Thomas Howard. Oh, um, no, she doesn't even get a chance to. They're just in hotels. Oh. They do have a house now again? And a baby. What is this dude in there for? That's why I was like, why is he there? Period. Well, yeah, they were hotel to hotel.
look at her eyelashes. It's a lot. She's having a full, she, this is witnessing a breakdown. Just completely. Yeah, it's like, I think that's the only thing that's going to help us out right now. Is he too late already? Um. Calling, okay. He didn't know that she was due. <laughs> This is a cool shot of the daytime, whatever it is. Sunset, sunrise. When they have to do a shot like that, which is better? I would bet sunrise, right? But like you'd want to start like way before sunrise and then go slowly with your light versus losing it.
Oh, I thought he was going to say what that do. Does he say just tell her? Oh. Well, is he setting it up for her to be with that dude? Jesse James Robs St. Louis Midland. <clears throat> So, oh, I, okay, now they're getting into banks. Goodness. Well, that's what the Midland is about, right? Midland Express. So it's still trains and, and banks. Yeah. Oh, good gosh. Oh, because I'm like, what's the, on his head? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Some dentist has jacked him up. from strangers well what did you do Again, who is that man? Is this that dude? Okay, because I'm so sorry. He showed his card and said he wanted a little ad letting people know he's staying at some little hotel. But well, who are you? What do you do? Why are you coming up to some woman's farm? Right. Oh. <coughs> oh. 
so they put in the paper about the amnesty offer to anybody in Jesse's gang if they kill him. Oh, yeah, and in addition to the money, they get the money, free pardon offer for a killer of Jesse James, in addition to the 25000 Detective agency. If you are interested, then I can be reached at the Dixie Bell Hotel under the name of George Remington. That's, that's not what his... Was that the name on the other side of the card? So I don't know who that dude's son is, except for I'll tell you in a second. They're out of it, huh? They want to stop? It ha it's settled now, right? It has gotten into this territory of what his mystical wife was telling him. Like, you're just going to turn into... Huh. Oh, he's getting reckless. <clears throat> Uh-oh. He's not going to like that. Huh. His, yeah, his troubles are, he misses his wife and kid. He gave them away. This dude shirt is very... 1972. Okay, <laughs> it's not. <gasps> so handsome. Uh oh. Uh-oh. So handsome, but I think he's turning into a killer, too. Well, full can they talk to you, though, without getting bitch slapped? That dude in the previous scene is Kill Bill's dad, Bill from Kill Bill. That's his dad. He says that to Frank? Frank might not let that go down, dude. They're brothers. Ugh. 
it's not so much about the money anymore. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh -uh. Again, they're brothers. <coughs> But somebody needs to. To everybody, right? Everybody needs that one person at least, right? <coughs> Become a better person, Jesse. He's going to. Okay. <coughs> He's got self-awareness. He's been put in check now. This dude. He's Kill Bill's dad. But you guys already knew this. Carradine, right? You already know that. I was very amused to find that out. You can see the resemblance. Oh! <gasps> Those two are together in Son of Fury, huh? So he's a detective. What is he? What does he get out of telling people that they get the twenty five thousand dollars if they kill Jesse James? Like, what is he gonna try and have a little administrative fee? Oh, maybe we're getting the information here. Wait, he making sure he did right on the back of it. Okay, he's really Runyon. He's going by Remington. So when a, the dude, the, the, the Carradine wrote a note to Runyon. Oh, he's working with, but again, what does Runyon get out of this? Does he know that he's getting a fraction of the 25,000? <clears> I love the way these dudes all rode up in very nice jackets. That's Frank. Northfield. Okay, so they just, they're going around places, and they said that they felt this place is too far away. I don't know, like, are they not familiar with the territory?
they are kind of conspicuous all coming up in their inspector gadget jackets though like actually that's what they are serving us right now is inspector gadget <laughs> all of them right and like it's a nice looking jacket it stands out How's the twins? <laughs> Beauregard. So that dude that got deputized is literally a part of their gang. That's when he said Tom and Hank and he was like on purpose because they are really a part of their actual crew. Uh oh. Oh, he has people ready. Remington. Runyon. Yeah, why are people running away? They were told when the bell rings get out of Dodge. <coughs> Is he about to dip down? <laughs> oh, is he running away? Is that Jesse? Oh, yeah, they're shooting from across the street. Oh, no. They did get Jesse. Is Jesse getting away too? That's not him, right? Oh. No, it is. Okay, okay. They're very smart. They just could do what they have to do. They weren't gonna get trapped like that. Oh my gosh, but Jesse is shot. <clears throat> Dang, okay, so because that, yeah, because where's the dude? Carradine, I, Ford, I guess. He planned with Renyon and that was a total, nearly massacre. I mean, this whole town is in on trying to catch this reward, huh? They're going to just divvy it up. Ooh. Is he hurt, huh? Can he keep up? Yeah, where is he?
guys okay? That's this punk Runyon. Okay, I was like, I'm, where did Tyrone Power go? <laughs> so she's still back in this hometown. Well, you can't be telling her that. But he is still her husband, the father of her son. That looks like their old house that she left from. <clears throat> oh wow. He is in bad shape. Hold on, let me. That is his house, huh? Because uh, is Pinky there? I was wondering when he came after his son was born, Pinky was there by himself and she had left. And then he told Pinky to go tell her these things. But did, okay, so this house is just abandoned, but it's the last house that he was staying in with her. This is where his son was born. He needs, how is, who's going to help him? Gosh, he just needs this bed, huh? He's shot? Gosh, I am. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just getting this all messed up. She knew. We'll start taking care of him, hun.
right, sweetie. Just take care of him now. I I'm sorry. It's just every word she says. First time you see me, son. I mean, yeah, sweetheart, can you start tending to his um, a bullet wound? He's been shot. You can see that. Could you start tending to my wound? Okay. All right. Well, the doctor was on his way. Huh. Okay. Frank said to flood the country. Okay. See, I just told you that, like, he just kind of rides off, but we didn't get, like, any announcement that Frank is just kind of gone now. So Jesse got shot in that bank. She's, yeah, she's got a bad feeling.
hard he's sweating. Frank wouldn't um, do that, right? He wouldn't do another bank. But he's most concerned about the need for money. Yeah, I mean, Jesse, don't you think your brother would communicate directly to you? This little boy. Aww. He was calling for his daddy because he can't go in there. The protocol is that you gotta be up out of the room as long as... He had stopped living like this for a little while now, right? Um, yes, this is absolutely horrible, but he's not trying to give him his son the shame going forward. My poor little baby was saying to his daddy that he wanted to come in because he couldn't come in because these little punks were beating him down. But it's like, girl! Do you have a problem with what's going on with your man downstairs? Make your, insert yourself. All right. Now she's going to tend to her little boy, but <clears throat> otherwise...
Okay, Bob Ford, John Carradine. <clears throat> I don't even know what his son's name is, um, the first name, but my mom really knew who he was. So one time she was trying to tell me, like he played some, what was he, a monk, a kung fu guy, something like that, that I had never seen. The show, I feel like it was a show or something. Anyway, he became Kill Bill. Um, okay, there is a sequel to this, and it is really good, too. Um, and so it is same Technicolor, and it's just the kind of picking up right from here, and it's, we get the return, it, it's literally called, <laughs> I was going to say we get the return of Frank, but that's what it's called, the return of Frank James. Um, I don't know that I will plan on watching that one with you guys, but it is here on YouTube and it is good. And again, like I said, on one of my previous upload channels, I put this one up first and then I had found the Frank, because I had no idea that that movie existed, but I found it here on YouTube. And so then I uploaded that one and everybody was watching the return of Frank James. I couldn't get anybody to watch this one. So I took matters into my own hands and we just watched it together. So like and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.